One of my favourite film franchises of all time. Men in Black franchise, trilogy, whatever you want to call it. Men in Black has some amazing health pointers for you. We get the first one. We have Jay. We have Agent Jay. Will Smith before he's even a man in black. He is just this dude on the streets that's got swagger, that's got style, that's got charisma. He's an officer, a police officer, running around, then he gets to the top of the building, and the alien's eyes go in. He's taken to this special agent to become a man in black. By Tommy Lee Jones, Agent K. And the health pointer isn't in this first film. It's actually further along in the third film. At the end of the first one, Tommy Lee Jones is getting a little bit old. And after issuing Will Smith, Agent J, with his noisy cricket and saving the world for the God knows how many time, he ends up having to have his brain neuralized. That is essentially a pen with a bright light that wipes your brain, the neuralizer. We've all seen that. Then it comes to the third film. And this is where the big thing when it comes to your health is. This is where people think where they were once in shape, where they were able to be this strong when they were younger, were able to run this amount when they were younger, able to look this good when they were younger, they think they cannot get back to that position. They forget everything and they think, well, I can't get back to that position, so why even bother? Agent J is there. He needs Agent K back. But he neuralized Agent K back in Men in Black 1. Agent K doesn't even know this force exists. He goes to find him. And tries to tell him there's aliens around. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't believe him. Then you get Razel doing this beatboxing in the post office. And Agent K is kind of like, yeah, maybe there is something here. Now, Agent K then has to learn every single thing he learned before, again. And there's that phrase, this is the last suit you will ever wear again. Such a famous phrase now, through all three films. And Agent K ends up saving the world, again. Going from nothing to something, again. Learning every single thing, putting in the work, the consistency again, just like you can do with your health. Just like you can do with your health. Because here is the deal. Time is going to move forward whether you like it or not. Time is going to keep on ticking. And I guarantee you, if you started doing something about your health on the day, the very first day you started moaning about it, the very first day you walked by that mirror and thought, hang on, those love handles need some attention. The very first day you felt your confidence drop when you took your top off in front of your wife. The very first day you dropped focus. The very first day you felt your shirt was a bit too tight around the wrong place. If you started doing something then, you would be pretty much close to your goals right now, if not already at them. If you had the accountability, you would be at your goals right now. But here's the deal. As I've said, time is going to move whether you like it or not. So you can keep on getting worse, more and more unhealthy, further away from your goals as these days go by. Or you can do one simple thing every single day. Be consistent every single day. 
you'll have times when you'll slip up. There'll be family events, there'll be birthdays, there'll be celebrations, Christmases, Easter. There'll be all these things that come in the way. But if you can stay on top the majority of the time, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get in better shape. You're going to be able to save your world like Agent K did in the third Men in Black film. You can be a man in black about your health. So just remember, the good guys dress in black. Remember that, just in case you ever face to face and make contact. I'll see you soon.